Om Shanti. Let's sit in soul consciousness for some time. Sit still and allow the body to calm down. Check for any tensions in the body. Whether it is the head, the neck, the shoulders, the back or the legs. Just visualize that every part of the body is absolutely relaxed. Visualize the tension in any part of the body just getting released now slowly gently move your awareness to yourself, the soul. I'm a wise soul. The third eye of wisdom is open for me. Now in this state of wisdom, look at the world around. The current scene in the drama appears to be not a very pleasant scene. But I, the soul, can see benefit in the scene. The biggest benefit is that I can bring benefit to everyone. This is the time to serve. This is such a great time in drama when I can be serviceable and do service. Let me tune into my stillness. Let me tune into my stability.
see yourself. You are such a still and stable star. A star of light not moving in its position and not moving in its stage. I am sitting right there behind the eyes very still and absolutely peaceful I am in remembrance of the ocean of peace. My father, Baba, is sending me these waves of peace. And I sit here, soaking them in and radiating them out. I am sitting with my heart open to Baba. Baba's peace. is flowing into me and I sit like the master benefactor radiating it to everyone around This is the time to serve. This is the time to provide for what everyone is seeking. I maintain this stillness and radiate this peace throughout the day. I am a serviceable soul. My stage is creating the state of the world. In this awareness, I stay in constant peace and nurture the world with the energy of peace. Just sit with these thoughts for some time.
ओम शांति सो डू यू रीड द मुरली बिफोर और आफ्टर द मंथन हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू डू दैट हाउ मेनी डोंट रीड द मुरली रेज योर हैंड हाउ मेनी डोंट गो थ्रू द फुल मुरली so probably you're not raising your hand but there must be some who are not doing that so okay so you must go through the full murli because i might not be able to cover a lot of points which might be relevant for you because in a murli there are many points as many as 300 if you ask me <laughs> every murli has so many points in it and sometimes uh, you might miss the point that is more relevant for you and probably i would have missed it in the manthan because i will give you the manthan according to what is relevant for me so you must read the murli also and uh, so this is a request and also baba's direction baba shrimant now today baba is saying so you know we it is very interesting that all of you are new children of baba and today baba is talking to you so today baba is saying in the essence sweet children constantly maintain the happiness that god himself has become your teacher and is teaching you you are studying raj yoga not praja yoga so baba says you are not in a school that creates uh, you know uh, servants you are in a school that creates masters <laughs> so so you must honor the, the it, you know sometimes it is said that you keep up the honor of the school <laughs> and if you perform badly the honor of the school is lost so baba says you are studying in a school for raj yoga not praja yoga and you are studying from god himself so baba says you must always remember the uh, remember this fact that you are studying from the supreme teacher himself and the study that you are studying is a very high study it is raj yoga it is the study that makes you a deity so do you always stay in this intoxication so you know there is this thing about mindfulness and people say that whatever you do you should do mindfully and then they say that if you are eating something which is very good for the body but then uh, you are not mindful that it is good for the body so let's say you are taking some something very nice probably some health drink or something but then you are not aware at that time that this is very nice you are aware as information but then while drinking it you are not drinking it in awareness then there have been studies which show that if you are doing that act in awareness that is while drinking the drink if you are aware that this health drink is doing me a lot of good in terms of physical health then the good that it can do to your body when you drink it in awareness and otherwise is very different so baba says what you are listening to is very powerful but baba says you should also be in awareness of whose words these are and what these words can make you so baba's murli can make you a deity and this murli is being spoken by the supreme teacher so if you keep this in awareness while listening to the murli then you will listen to it more you will imbibe it more and you will get more power from it so baba says this is why you should stay in the intoxication while studying baba's gyan because sometimes you are 
paying attention to the teaching but you're not paying attention to the teacher so there is a power that the teaching gives you and there is a power that the teacher gives you so you will miss out on the power of the teacher you will only be able to take the power of the teaching that too when you apply it so this is a very deep thing and you must take note of it and i will give you an example of this mindfulness and there was once a um, there was once a study um, with a hotel staff and then this hotel staff was asked a question that whether you exercise so the hotel staff which is uh, responsible for preparing beds and rooms and cleaning and stuff so they were asked whether they exercise and they said that no we have a very busy schedule so we don't find time to exercise now the thing is they are exercising all day because the work that they are doing involves exercise but they were exercising without awareness so then they were given a small powerpoint presentation of 15 minutes and in that powerpoint presentation it was they were made to understand which which you know which movement that they did while making beds or cleaning or picking up corresponded to which exercises and how many calories were burnt in that process and then they were said that whenever you are doing that whole uh, housekeeping work then you keep this in awareness how many calories you're burning and stay in that happiness and you know what after a month when the team got back then they felt happier healthier fitter and also lost some weight <laughs> so just keeping that awareness of what you are doing helped um, and this is a this is a study which has been you know documented so there were definitely parameters that were used to gauge these things so baba also says that you are studying the study which can make you a deity but if you do if you study the study without knowing what it can make you and how powerful these versions are and who is telling them to us then probably you lose most of the stuff so most of the power is lost in that so baba is asking us to constantly maintain the happiness that god himself has become your teacher and is teaching you you are studying raj yoga not praja yoga from him so keep this in your awareness and stay in that happiness now do you understand that we do not have the capacity for happiness these days so we say there are not many happy events going on around us but that is not true the truth is our capacity to recognize what can make us happy and recognize happy you know reasons to be happy and to stay in that state of happiness has is lost so even if you get a very good news how how long are you able to stay in the intoxication of that news so if you get a good news also you know it fizzles out in a very short time maybe seconds why because your the soul since it has become so rusted it is not able to contain these powerful and pure feelings for long so baba says in order to you know make retrain the soul into being better equipped in retaining news of happiness what you have to do is practice staying in the happiness that i have found baba so you have to do all these things very consciously for in order to get back your power to be happy and do you remember when you were young what did it take you to be happy so even if somebody gave you a piece of jaggery you were happy so not even a toffee or a chocolate even if you had a piece of jaggery you were happy 
or somebody just took you for a walk you were happy or somebody just gave just you know uh, told you a very lame joke you were happy <laughs> and you could repeat it 500 times and laugh yourself also but now it is different it's not about what's happening around us but it's more about how we have changed as a soul so the spiritual degradation is manifested in this capacity to be happy and whenever something is lost it takes some conscious effort to build it up and this is why baba is asking us to make this conscious effort to remind ourselves who we belong to and who is become our father and teacher and then stay in that state and re you know reinvigorate that capacity for happiness in the soul so these are see it's a simple line you know stay in that happiness of being baba's child but if you just understand why baba is saying this it is very very deep so the question today is what is the wonder of this study for how long will you have to continue to make effort so baba says there are two questions why is this study very wonderful and then second for how long will you have to make effort so the first answer is in this study which you have been studying for a long time new children go ahead fast so this is a study where those who come later go faster <laughs> so this is a wonderful study <laughs> and baba says it is a wonder that 3 month old children who amongst you is exactly 3 months old now so ever since you took the course who amongst you is 3 months old so today see <laughs> so there are a few who so are 3 months old and baba is exactly talking about 3 month old children and he is talking about newer children so even those who are 2 months or 6 months or 10 months or so you have reason to celebrate because baba is giving you a personal blessing that you can go ahead of the rest and baba is saying it is a wonder that 3 month old children can go ahead of the older children because their intellects are sharper and why is this intellect sharper because you see the drama is helping you understand things better if you know an year ago the same murli you would have listened to or the course you would have attended you wouldn't have appreciated baba's words so much but the drama is making you understand what baba is trying to teach you in you know more and more as time passes so baba says the intellect is becoming very receptive now and also you see in the earlier days we did not have access to so much of clarity of gyan but these days because the seniors have done such a lot of effort and given us so much of explanation and they have made everything so clear for us we have so many classes and stuff and this is why you know it is it it has become very easy to digest the gyan or understand the gyan which was very difficult to understand earlier so these are the things and also i feel there is another thing which helps us which is science and technology so you know uh, earlier uh, it's not just limited to this online class but you know even when you want to understand how you can connect with baba the bluetooth helps you to understand that so you understand that when the bluetooth is on you can connect any device to any device and there is no wire required so the bluetooth ex- helps you understand how you can connect to baba or you know the the storage of data in a computer enables you to understand how data of 84 births can be stored in a soul <laughs> so you can't see that data also and you can't see this data also but you know we give these examples of 
related to science and especially you know the computer and the hardware and the software these helps you understand things which were very difficult to appreciate earlier so i think because of these things newer children are in a position where which baba describes as intellects are sharper but there is a but to it okay so <laughs> let's understand that baba says today you have to continue to make effort until you pass fully and reach your karmatit stage and become free from all karmic accounts so you see that we have sharper intellects we understand gyan but we have a lot of you know lack of spiritual power right now and the second thing is the circumstances that we are in are giving us a lot of challenges these days so the challenges were fewer even 10 years back yes but these days everything is so fragile whether it is life whether it is relationships whether it is work whether it is situations everything is in a very fragile state so this fragile state is an indication of many karmic accounts coming up suddenly for settlement so we have 80 we have 63 births of negative karmic accounts yes now those who came 50 years back they had 50 years to for those karmic accounts to come and for them to settle it but now we have maybe 10 years or 5 years or i don't know and all those 63 births of karma is coming up suddenly before us and we have not probably done all the inner work that they have done in 50 years so now the race is to have so much of spiritual effort that we are able to settle all the karmic accounts that are coming before us and reach the karmatit stage before the end now what is what is a karmic account let's understand that now a karmic account is any situation which triggers negative emotions in you so have you come through a uh, come across a uh, a situation where there is a negative situation but you are not experiencing its negativity yes uh, for example let's say uh, let's say um, this lockdown okay now if you are a person who has a business which is not um, you know which is not which is no, of in non essential items then you will be hit more than those who have a business which uh, which have essential items yes so so you will be hit more now this is how situations hit different people differently and then the second thing is probably if you are a person who has a lot of backup behind you then even if it has if the situation is same for you you will respond to it differently yes and sometimes you know uh, you will be in a situation where you neither have a backup nor there are uh, other circumstances favoring you but you are a very positive person and then the situation is not able to hit you because you think that probably this is a good chance for me to look into other business prospects and start with them as soon as the situation changes yes so you may take to it positively in some other way so baba says that karmic account means you only have a karmic account when the situation is able to unsettle you so there could be a situation but if it is not able to unsettle you then you don't have a karmic account got it 
so karmic account is your negatively emotional response to a situation it's not about the situation now you see uh, baba says that you have to settle your karmic accounts so you may have a situation which has the capacity to trigger you in a negative way but if you have done your inner spiritual work then you will be able to overcome it overcome that trigger and you will be able to respond to it in a powerful manner and that is when it is said that you are settling your karmic account and if you are doing the opposite that is you are again reacting to it then it is creating another set of karmic accounts okay so baba says that you should do enough inner work so that anything on the external even if it is hitting you or not hitting you externally is not able to unsettle you inside yes and mostly karmic accounts manifest in three ways so there is illness then there is relationship issues so people who you are attached to uh, will not be okay and then you feel emotional about it and then there are situations where you know you have a legal issue or a financial issue or some other kind of stuff so these are three major ways in which karmic accounts manifest but then it depends on how how you know how, what's your spiritual stage is and whether you feel it's a karmic account or not okay so if you have worked on your attachment then the karmic account will not be able to unsettle you and it is always attachment in some form or the other whether whether it is to your status or your body or to your future security or to relationships and basically all attachment comes from an idea that that thing is going to serve me yes but when you come to the understanding that you are a soul and you are always covered <laughs> under any circumstance you know you are covered so if you get to that feeling where you understand that these external context don't matter and you are always covered by baba then you will be able to stay stable in the face of come what may baba says in the murli that this is a drama and in this drama there are three aspects of time there is the past present and the future yes now every second the present moment is going into the past and the future is coming into the present yes so every one second this flow is happening so this one second is going behind becoming your past and the future second is coming and becoming your present now what happens is we do not move second by second so we move in years and in you know we we just think about what happened in a year or in a month or in a day but the drama is changing second by second so if you are stuck in what happened in the past moment then you are not able to see what's happening in the present moment so in every second there is loss and gain involved so you lose the past second and with the past second whatever was there in the past second you lose that right so you lose the whole context that was there in the past second but then a new thing has come up in the present second but if you are busy crying over what you have lost in the past second you don't see what you have gained right now and this is what makes your life miserable so let's take a very simple example so in the corona virus uh, pandemic you lost a lot of things yes like the regular going to office meeting your friends going out on vacations or 
you know this sense of security that you will live a little longer <laughs> so there is there are there are lots of things that you lost but you got baba and you got baba's gyan and then baba told you that worrying is a yesterday thing so worrying was part of bhakti but now you have me and now i give you faith but if you don't leave the past and what the past had taught you and take the present and what the present is teaching you and giving you then you will feel a sense of total loss but if you appreciate what you have got then you will not lament the past so much and this is a very big piece of wisdom that baba is giving us today and baba is saying that if you stay in this awareness so every second you are getting something and there is no second when you will lose something and not get something in the gita it is written that when you are born it is certain that you will die yes but then when you die it is certain that you will take birth <laughs> so basically all these things that we think in our mind which we think is loss is never a loss because you if you look at the flip, flip side then whenever you are losing something you are also gaining something and this drama is eternally going on like that and if you don't keep this in your awareness then probably you lose and that loss is self created more than you know brought about by drama so baba says that you have to settle your karmic accounts and you see every second is presenting us with challenges and opportunities so if you look at a challenge also the flip side of a challenge is an opportunity so you face something you learn something you don't face anything you don't learn anything so baba says whenever there is a situation before you don't see it as something that you have to settle or deal with just look at it as something that you have to learn from and you 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 understand that when you were studying mathematics in school you just took 100 practice questions and just practiced them and they gave you a lot of happiness now why did you take up a problem and solve it just like that because you wanted to just apply your knowledge of the formula and that gave you happiness now baba has given us every formula of how to deal with a situation so when you have every formula every day is like a practice session where questions are coming up and you are applying the points and you are getting an experience so baba says go about life in that manner and if you just keep lamenting about your old ways and your old things and your old stuff and you just say that is something i lost then you are losing it actually because that is something you have lost but you that is not loss because that was destined but what you are losing is what the present moment is giving you and you are not able to see it because you are busy seeing the past so this is what baba is telling us and this is a very important point in the murli today and then today baba is talking about spirituality and baba says that uh there is so many people believe in a lot of things in the world and in in india especially there are lots of schools of thoughts is uh, about you know uh, different philosophies about life and then baba says there is a lot of occult power also which people practice so somebody would just you know uh, show that they are meditating and then take out a box of saffron or something and then impress you but baba says this path that you have taken is not like that this is the spiritual path and what is the spiritual path baba says this is when the supreme soul 
comes and talks to you soul to make you soul conscious. What is spirituality? Spirituality is when the supreme soul comes and talks to the soul and wakes it into soul consciousness. So Baba says this is spirituality and Baba in the Murli says today I am not talking to a Marathi or a Gujarati. <laughs> I am talking to a soul. And Baba says I have got nothing to do with your context. You may be in a religious context, in a professional context, in a context of a gender, you may be in any context. But I have no business with that. I am talking to you, the soul. And when you are free from the consciousness of your context, you will be able to appreciate what I'm telling you. So you see, when you are body conscious, you will not get what Baba is telling you. So Baba says, I am not talking to the Gujarati or the Marathi in you. I am talking to you. <laughs> and you are not that. So just clean yourself from all of that and sit and listen to what the Father has got to tell you. And that is spirituality. And then Baba tells, I will read out some lines. So Baba says that, You have now received a birth as invaluable as a diamond. So Baba says, this is a diamond age. And you are in the best time. I don't know whether uh, you have the confidence to stay, say it out loud in this world which feels this is the worst time. But Baba says this is the best time for those who are with Baba. And in the meditation also I told you that the biggest benefit of this time is this is the time to bring benefit. And this is the time to serve when everybody is in pain. And this, this time will never return. So this is the time to earn the fortune for 21 births by doing as much spiritual seva as you can. So Baba says, this birth is as invaluable as a diamond. Which birth? So let me specify that also. When you came to Baba, that is the day you're born again. So this is your new, new birth. So when Baba says three month old children, it means children who are born three months back. <laughs> okay, so you, this is your new birth and this birth is like that of a diamond. And Baba says, therefore, why are you wasting it chasing after shells? So are you wasting this invaluable diamond-like birth chasing after shells? So things that will not last you, you know, a lifetime. Why are you chasing? Why are you spending your time, energy and money running behind that stuff? How many more years will this world remain? There continues to be so much fighting and quarreling. Everything is to be destroyed. Death is standing just ahead of you. So Baba is saying that it is not a lot of time that we have to create good karma. Baba says, so who would enjoy the hundreds of thousands or millions that you have? <laughs> so if you have filled your treasury with this money, nobody is going to take benefit of it. So Baba says, use it in spiritual seva. Yes, Baba says, why not use all of that in a worthwhile way instead? By opening this spiritual college, people become ever healthy, wealthy and happy. And you see, Baba's centers are doing so much of work in creating health, wealth and happiness. And you must take care of that seva and become a part of it. And that will help you create the good karma out of the, out of the wealth that will get destroyed eventually. And do you remember when demonetization took place, people filled their bags with money and threw it in water. Yes. So that is the time that will come when everything will turn into dust. So Baba says use it in spiritual seva. And Baba says, 
this is a hospital and university combined because baba says people are getting 21 births of health and 21 births of intelligence with this spiritual study so baba says there is health wealth and happiness truly you receive a long life with the power of yoga you become so healthy you receive limitless treasures so baba is also pointing out that we pay attention to using our resources in seva today and understand that this is a diamond age using our thought time wealth energy everything in seva is very very important now there is a question um yes shivi ben ask me unmute yes om shanti didi om shanti uh didi i have two questions now to your commenter hmm didi first about the kami account that you explain hmm so beautifully i i just want to understand sometimes uh while the situation comes and we know that we are getting disturbed there how to um how to get control during that very time mm. that very moment mm. uh, sometimes you i have not really uh, become that strong or do mm. i don't gauge the situation before and mm. how how do i yes. uh, help okay. myself there? okay thank you so with in this regard our discipline helps okay so even if you have not had the strength you have not accumulated the strength but if you have disciplined yourself so you know if you have programmed your mind to just stay in baba's remembrance from 4 to 4:45 in the morning and then you have made it a habit to go through the murli and take traffic control break so every hour if you have made it a discipline to take a 1 minute break and go inside then you know baba will find a way to touch you in those moments so i told you th- so this is what i was saying when i said there is a power you get from the teaching there is a power you get from the application and there is a power you get from baba so sometimes you know when you when you forget the teaching when you do, have not applied it enough to have built some power still baba is there with you that is why when we say the praise of sangam you we don't say that the teaching is the biggest praise we say baba hai hamare sath that is the biggest praise of sangam you why because we have this discipline of making contact with baba every so often and whenever you are you have made this discipline then in those moments when you are trying to take your buddhi away from other stuff and just you know very in a very programmed manner also just like you say you are not allowed like you used to go to the temple and you say you know you are not allowed to quarrel here so similarly if you have told yourself you are not allowed to you know think about other things 4 to 4:45 in the morning then baba will find a way to touch you in those moments okay so the, the discipline helps more than what anything else this is why baba says even if you don't find it interesting just follow my maryada follow my time table yes so that is very important so i think this is the first answer anything else you were asking Anji. yes didi didi in murli today somewhere baba said that we we can we can like we don't need eyes to see him hmm. somewhere he is coming hmm. that he says hmm. and i was just wondering how, how does baba experience us hmm. if we are if by chance we are, we are not completely in soul hmm. consciousness or sometimes we are in our work Hmm. so baba doesn't saying. so baba baba sees us not so so you see baba sees from his consciousness so he is in soul consciousness so he can see the soul <laughs> so we see the body because i am body soul conscious i can see baba now baba is always soul conscious so he can see the soul and you must have 
heard in the murli baba and so there, there was this very interesting long phase where baba used to come for many meetings and in every meeting baba used to start the murli as the the deep raj is looking at the shining deepaks <laughs> so and you know every usually this deepak thing would come up in diwali so in when baba used to come for diwali and then children used to keep telling baba baba it's not diwali so you can say something else <laughs> but baba always kept saying deepraj has come to look at the deepaks and then children didn't understand that now is the time when everybody should sit in that state where you know we are like shining deepaks and we are seeing ourselves as a body and baba is only seeing the light within okay ओम शांति पद्मजा बेन बोलो हाँ जी ओम शांति ओम शांति यस यस interested in that because you cannot so you know this is this is not the stuff you should be interested in that who did what karma that's not your look out you look at your karma okay now the second thing is you see right now you are getting emotional about that one child because that's one case but do you foresee that there'll be thousands of such cases coming up in front of you very soon yes and it could be not just this virus if it's a earthquake or if it's something else then you will have so many of these things happening around you now it is time that we learn that the question at hand is not how to take care of the situation the question is at hand is how to stay stable and until and unless we understand that the whatever we do will not be enough so the so until we get you know until our thought process shifts from that to this situations will keep multiplying so first we have to understand that situations will get worse and worse and worse so what we have to focus on is how am i in the situation so first leave the situation think about how you are and why are you disturbed you are disturbed because it is your idea that this shouldn't happen but then baba has told us that everything in the drama is as it should happen yes and why it should happen like that is related to 63 births of long journey so we cannot point out why it should happen like that yes but it should happen the way it is happening and when you understand this thing and stay stable then ask yourself what is the little bit you can do okay so if you just focus on who you have to be and how you have to be then the second question becomes very easy what do you have to do and how much can you do so look at your affordability and do as much as you can if you if you are powerful enough to cook three meals and take the responsibility of feeding that those children every day take up that responsibility 
yes if you have if you are able enough to take the responsibility of uh, you know taking care of their education i'm not talking about the finance because you know finance is a very easy way to get away from responsibility so take the responsibility of the education there will be many people who will take the responsibility of the finance but are you willing to educate them are you willing to tuition them for 2 hours every day yes so think about how much of thought powerful thought how much of productive time how much of your energy and effort can you give that child and if you are able to come up with an answer that yes this is something i can do then do it and if you feel i can't do then there is no point in worrying about things that you are not willing to do anything for yes so do away with morality come to reality and work with spirituality okay om shanti let's meditate for some time sit very still and quiet in the awareness that this is the diamond age and baba the most valuable diamond is making me a diamond I am changing from a coal to a diamond under the pressure of circumstances. When a coal is changed to a diamond intense pressure is applied on it these circumstances are acting as that pressure and i am changing into a diamond a flawless diamond pure and shining my attention is now not drawn by the pressure but by the diamond I do not mind the pressure. I am very happy about what is it is making me. Just see yourself and dance in happiness. look at how you're changing what you're becoming and dance in the happiness of that sit in the state of happiness for some time 